The internet is full of articles about how millennials are rejecting marriage because of uncertain economic prospects. However, I believe there are still some out there who do plan to get married. And to my younger black sisters who are planning to get married soon, let's talk about diamond engagement rings. Specifically, I'm talking to those of you who expect your man to follow that jewelry industry marketing bunk about spending two months salary on a diamond ring so you can show it off to your girls. Please stop it now. No man, at least no man under 30, has any business spending that kind of money on diamonds, society, and sentimentality be damned. And if you're demanding a rock, then maybe he'd do better not marrying your ass because you're likely to be a higher maintenance model than what he can initially or want to afford. The diamond ring ritual is literally fabricated. It was invented in the 1940s as part of a marketing campaign by the company De Beers to sell diamonds to America's emerging middle class and it's rooted in quote some of the most shameful elements of human history including colonialism, misogyny, and crass consumerism. I will link to an article about this marketing ploy in the description box below. When I decided to get married at age 26, I was holding down a gig paying about $25,500 a year. That translates to $2,125 a month. By that warped jewelry industry logic, I should have spent $4,250 on a diamond ring for my wife. At the time, I was living here in the always expensive DMV, which is known as the Washington, D.C. area. So, at that time, my savings were hovering between squat and squat and a half. But I felt like I had to show my intended a token of my love for her. So, I fell back on my old standby, debt. I obtained the Zales jewelry card and used the account to charge a $700 quarter carat ring. Needless to say, I would not do that crap today. And even if I did have more than four grand socked away, I sure as hell wouldn't have spent it all on jewelry. And my wife, I believe, was smart enough to have killed me if I did blow my wad on a rock. Let's say your young man is thrifty enough to have saved two months' salary. There are better things on which he can spend those dollars than on a mineral of crystalline carbon. The money could be a down payment on a house. It could start a college fund for your kids. It can start a retirement account. Or maybe it could pay for that vacation to the motherland. Still not convinced? Still want your man to buy you a rock? Consider this. The ring may adorn your finger, but the blood will cover the rest of your hand. Diamond mining has caused untold suffering in sub-Saharan Africa. And closer to home here in North America, Canadian diamond mining has drawn legions of truck drivers willing to drive their rigs across 300 mile long, 28 inch thick sheets of ice to transport diamonds. Despite engineers monitoring of the ice road, rigs and their drivers occasionally go down through ice that cracks beneath their weights with no hope of being saved. Diamonds have no value except to appeal to our human sense of vanity. Ladies, let your man get established then tell him you'll accept the less expensive piece of jewelry either now or later, perhaps when your first, fifth, or tenth wedding anniversaries. Whatever he presents you will be no less sentimental 
and he will appreciate you that much more. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And please click on the bell so that when Quad B uploads new content or goes live, you will be notified. Until next time, this is Quad B saying peace, deuces, and God bless.